Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra. We are in the middle of a literal heat wave, but for some reason we're doing a patio makeover today. It's like 41 degrees. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is my first patio makeover of the season. Thank you so much to Care Of for sponsoring today's video. I cannot wait to tell you about this company. I just discovered them. They're incredible. I'll talk about them later on in the video, but for now, let's get some ice cold water in start this makeover. Hi Alexandra, we are Allison and Jake. We live in a small semi in East York. We moved in a couple years ago. Late last fall, we added a brand new deck and right now it's just a blank slate. We have no furniture on it. We have nothing there. We'd really like to have a space to be able to eat outside, to be able to have a drink, to just have a cozy space with our little son, Henry. But I have decision fatigue. There's so many options out there and I don't know how to style this deck. Please help us. The thing I love about this outdoor space is that there's two tiers to it. So this level is right off of the kitchen and then there's a couple steps which is gonna be the perfect dining space. I'm gonna give you tips on how to make your outdoor space cozy and functional and I'm also gonna throw in some hacks on how to dress up your outdoor IKEA furniture. How do you make it look unique and different? So I'll be showing you guys some really fun DIYs. Before we get started, if you don't have an outdoor space like this and have a tinier apartment, balcony or small patio. I'm gonna link a video I did last year. I made over my production assistant, Alana's apartment balcony. It was a really fun makeover. So click that vid if you wanna see a smaller outdoor space get made over. So let's get this makeover started. First things first, guys. Step one, I'm putting down a rug. I've said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. An outdoor rug is crucial to bringing the cozy factor up 10 notches in your outdoor space. And what I love to do when I shop for outdoor rugs is find ones that look like they could belong indoors. That way you're bringing the living room feeling that you have indoors outside on the back deck. So I'm gonna unwrap this. I haven't seen this rug in person, obviously, because it's wrapped up. I also forget what it looks like, so this is gonna be a fun surprise for us all. You guys, this rug is gorgeous oh my gosh and it's massive which makes it feel like we're in a living room it also makes this space up here feel a lot bigger love it now it's time for the outdoor sofa what I love to do when it comes to outdoor furniture is use pretty neutral cushions and that way you can have tons of fun with your accessories and change your accessories up every season. It's gonna keep your outdoor space feeling super on trend. <sighs> I'm done. That's it. The makeover's ending. So now I'm just placing this coffee table. It's metal, it's super light, and it's also really neutral. Again, because I want the accessories that I bring in to really pop to have their moment. Sounds obvious, but bringing in really large plants into your outdoor space, again, is gonna make it feel like you're bringing the indoors out. I found this at a hardware store, and you guys, I'm just gonna cut the Instagram story of Alana beside it so you can get a sense of the height of this thing. This was under $50. Again, such an inexpensive way to bring in tons of greenery into your outdoor space. This looks phenomenal, like we're in Palm Springs. I also wanna add that I feel like in an outdoor space, we often think of plants that are low to the ground or like flowers, but large plants like this, I just think finish a space off so nicely. It's really tall. It's like way taller than me. Obviously, any outdoor space should have string lights, and if you can find solar ones, even better. We are gonna string these up. Eventually. Eventually. So I've placed this side table here for a reason. I want you guys to pause the video, 
Comment down below what you think is going to rest on top of this. It's an exciting surprise for the end of the makeover. Also, I am quite literally sweating. So just, just ignore it, you guys. It's 41 degrees right now. 41 degrees. I'm bringing in a couple footstools, but these can also be seat cushions for people to sit on the floor if they want. Just extra seating space. Allison and Jacob are gonna have to bring these in when it rains, because they're not weather resistant. But I think that these would look great indoors or out. So it's a versatile piece. They're so cute. Now is the fun part. We're adding in all that color and pattern with the accessories. What I love to do is just grab more than I think that I'll need. You can always return whatever cushions don't work. And then I just love to mix and match, play around with it and see what works together. So before we get into the rest of the makeover, it's time to talk about this week's sponsor, Care Of. Look at this packaging, guys. Care Of is a completely customizable wellness service, and I have to say, I am so impressed. During this time, I've said this before, I've been really trying to partner with brands that make sense. I feel like something that can help us all is having a good handle on our health and our wellness. So that's where Care Of comes in. So you fill out a quiz that asks you questions about your diet, your lifestyle, and personal health goals, and Care Of uses research to recommend a tailored plan and supplements. One thing I've been struggling with, definitely working from home and not being able to shoot as often, is feeling really unmotivated during the middle of the day, kind of that like mid-afternoon slump. So Care Of suggested I take a supplement called Rhodiola. It's great for mental energy and focus, and what I love about Care Of is that there's so many different things you can choose, whether that's stress, sleep, gut health, and then the quiz basically tells you the supplements that Care Of recommends you take every day. Can we talk about how cute this packaging is? Every day I know exactly which vitamins and supplements I'm taking. It says, hi Alexandra on it. I also love that these packs are compostable. So Care Of shows you how to properly compost them on their website. So there's not a lot of waste created either. Of course, I have a discount code for you guys. So make sure you take Care Of's quiz and use my discount code, which is right here, to get 50% off on your first order. You can start whenever. Oh. <laughs> okay, we are done with the upstairs space, almost. At the end, I'm adding something special. But now I'm going to focus on this dining area. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring the table, center it in this space, and then I'm going to add a garden wall right behind me. Okay, let's do it. Nice. Real nice. A fun way to jazz up your outdoor umbrella is to grab some fringe, just like this, it's craft fringe, and use fabric glue gun sticks. So I am just gluing this fringe all the way around this outdoor umbrella, and look at that. Oh, <laughs> we're fine, everything's fine, it's all fine, it's fine. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> stand by, stand by. Such an easy DIY. Now my second hack for your outdoor umbrella is to string some fairy lights through it. So you just wanna string them on the underside of the umbrella. This is gonna add a soft, cozy glow in the evening. After you have your string lights up, you wanna get yourself some lanterns. These are solar powered. And then you just want to hang them at the top of your umbrella. They're all gonna hang down in this beautiful cluster and just make your dining area so cozy, so styled, so dinner party ready without trying that hard at all. 
We all know that patio furniture can get pricey really quickly. So a tip that I have is for seating, buy two benches that can go on either side of your table and then layer in some more expensive dining chairs. For some reason I find like outdoor dining chairs are just so expensive. So I've got two really beautiful green ones. This is the pop of color this space really needs. They were on the pricey side, but I only needed to buy two. And then the benches on either side counts as two seats. So at this table, we're fitting two, four, six people, which is great. Next up, I'm adding these really cute hanging pots along the fence here. I'm putting herbs in these, a couple plants. I love this kind of garden because you don't need grass, you don't need a garden bed. All you need are these cute little pots. They look great and they're also functional. Now it is time for that surprise last kind of piece that's gonna put this all together. You guys, I am giving Jake and Allison an outdoor movie theater using a projector and a projector screen. Found these both on Amazon. I will link them down below. The projector can be plugged in. I think it might also be portable. They have a plug right beside the couch. That's what that side table is for. You literally just take the sheet off the hooks when you wanna bring it inside has these little ties to keep it nice and tucked away when it's not in use, but instant outdoor theater. Love it. Time to add a couple finishing touches and then we're gonna reveal the space to Jacob and Allison. I want you to picture what your space looked like before. Blank. Yes, nothing. Nothing in it. Okay, I'm so excited. Are you ready? Yes. yes. On the count of three, I want you to open your eyes. One, two, three. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. I'm like practically speechless. This is amazing. I never would have picked any of this out myself. Like, I love this rug, I love the couch. I love the table. These chairs, like I love this color. And the fringe is amazing. I love these big globe things or yeah. whatever they are. Lantern? No, they're not I would lantern, have never thought of that. Yeah, that's like, a great idea. And these are so cool. Such a nice way to like display herbs finally. Like everything wow. we wanted and more. So cool. <laughs> we can actually hang out here. Finally, now. we can entertain. Yeah. <laughs> you can eat out here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> We're definitely going to do a movie night out here very soon. What do you think, Henry? <laughs> do you like it? If I could have told you exactly what I wanted, you've given it to us. So thank you. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this patio makeover. I hope it inspired you to create your own outdoor oasis. I know that during this time, being outdoors is so important. And thank you as well to Care Of for sponsoring this video, for introducing me to your vitamins and supplements that not only look cute, but obviously are going to vastly improve my health and wellness. Make sure you guys use my code for 50% off your first order, and I will see you right back here next week. Bye.